guys welcome back to my channel so i think this video is going to be pretty short i just want to talk about the books that i recently acquired i got one of the books at a barnes noble and i went today actually to a library sale um they had a theme they made it like spooky for october so they mostly sold thrillers uh, true crime horror novels and everything in between so I got three books there um, and I paid like 11 bucks total. I'm super happy whenever I can get a good bargain. Let's start with the one I got from Barnes & Noble. This I got together with some of the scary books I got for October um, that I'm currently reading. But I got this one. Akweke Mezi wrote this book and I heard a lot of good things. They are also the one who wrote You Made a Fool of Death with Your Beauty, which was chef's kiss. I loved it. It was fantastic. I will put the synopsis right here. Oh, wow. This is like a fantasy book. I didn't know that. Hmm, not usually my kind of genre, but it has uh, a couple of awards. Honor, Honor Stonewall Book, National Book Award finalist. So... It must be good. I also like that they asked the question, um, what really makes a monster and who do you save the world from? And how do you save the world from something if no one will admit it exists? Hmm. This is definitely a book that I am now curious to read. The Death of Vivek Oji is also a book that I actually had on my TBR. I took it off because I heard it's really sad and if you know me, you know I cry a lot and I cry easily. Um, so I tried to avoid that but I might still read it because I heard great things even though there are some trigger warnings as well. 200 pages. Now I looked it up. 200 pages. So let's see what this is about. Let's see how this will turn out. Good. Now I'm getting to the books that I got at that book sale that I went to today. The first one I only bought because of the author. I have not heard of this book before, Nine Lives by Peter Swanson. I talked about him before whenever I mentioned the book uh, Every Vow You Break, which I really enjoyed. And I have high hopes that this one will be just as great. If not better, who knows? I still haven't read The Kind Worth Killing and The Kind Worth Saving, but that's also high on my list. Maybe I could try to read those during November. Let's see. So this is about nine strangers who all receive a list with nine names on it. And all of them think, okay, these are just names. These are people I have never met. This is probably a scam or spam or whatever. They just throw it out. But then bad things start to happen to these people one by one. And now an FBI agent who is on that list as well has to find out what's going on, what's behind the, who is behind this and how can I stop this? How can I save these people? All right. Sounds pretty good. Um, I'm excited. 300 pages. I will look, I will, I will try to read the book maybe November. Oh God. Actually, never mind. My November TBR is already full. I'll put this on my shelf. Let's see when I get to it. Definitely sounds good. And for three bucks, <laughs> I mean, great. The next book I actually only got because one of my favorite bookstagrammers, book talkers talked about it so highly. I have no idea uh, how this will be or what this is about, but Karen Slaughter uh, with her book Pretty Girls. And this book is actually pretty, I don't want to say old, but it, it's it's been a few years. Um, let me check. I, th I think she. I think it said 2015. Yep, 2015. Karen Slaughter. So yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but I kind of only read like recent books because that's what you know. Whenever something's new, you know, it's always like, oh, let me check it out first. But this one is from 2015. I heard many good things. I bought it on impulse. I have no idea what it's even about. Actually, let me check real quick. I will put the synopsis right here for you. Pause to read. 
I am curious to see what this will be about. We don't get too much from the synopsis, I think, but it reminds me a little bit um, a flicker in the dark. I think I'm. I think I'm thinking of a flicker in the dark. Um, like because someone goes missing and then oh, 10 years later and the same thing happens again. This reminds me um, of this book, um, which I also read, which which was good, super predictable. Anyways, Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. I'm not sure when I'm going to read this. But oh God, 400 pages again. All right. Yeah, it will be next year before I read this. The last book that I got, I saved the best for last. I actually, when... I knew that I would go to that spooky book sale. I was like, okay, I want to get this one book. And I went there, I went there early. So I kind of um, cheated the crowd or however you want to call it. So I went there early and I really got it. I am so excited. I got How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix. Uh, I paid five bucks for it. So I'm super, super happy. I realized I did not put this on my October TBR, even though it's perfect timing for spooky season. But I don't know why I forgot about it. Oh, well, also maybe because I don't have any more space on my TBR for this month. And I still don't know how much I will actually be able to read because I still have some things planned. So for those of you who don't know, this book is about Louise and her brother Mark who are trying to clean out their parents' house in their hometown after the parents had died and they want to put the house on the market and apparently the house doesn't want to be sold and there are creepy things happening. I keep people I keep hearing people talk about how re after reading this book they are afraid of dolls or puppets or whatnot and I, I'm i not usually creeped out by puppets or anything, but maybe after reading this book I will, so I don't know. As I said, I heard many people gush about this book. I heard great things and I am really looking forward to getting into this. These were the four books that I recently bought and I, as I said, I will get to them as soon as I can. I don't know when yet, but you know, the, the thrill of buying new books. So I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Let me know if there are any books that you recently bought and if you made a good bargain somewhere, how much did you pay? Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy my videos. Um, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, comment, like, share, uh, whatever you can think of. And I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye.